what ended up happening with her locks, and I think part of this is because of the very fine texture of her hair, is, and I probably need to find one that's a better example. We ended up getting, after about a year, we'd had so much hair surrounding the lock that wasn't a part of this lock or the one next to it or the one next to it, just part of it was probably new growth, part of it breakage, but um, hair's just slipping out and we had so much hair that needed to be incorporated into, into the new locks. And when I would tighten them with the latch hook, they would still slip back out because she just has very fine hair. Um, and some of the some of the hairs would be about like this long so I would I would latch hook them in and then from here I'd have like this section of loose hair sticking out of the lock. I need to find an example of that so that I can show you the tool that I got and how I fixed it. I'm not sure this is the best example but we don't have that much of a problem with it now that I um, use this other tool and kind of I fixed it but anyway so if you can see all of this hair right here that is not um, in any of the locks I want to put it into this lock so I just join it all together pinch it in my <laughs> we got stuck on a random lock pinch it in my fingers and then um, I'll use my latch hook and make sure that all that hair gets in with the lock when I'm pulling it through And then I'll kind of grab it after it's come through and keep make sure that it's coming through that hole that we made with the latch hook. And then I go in a different direction. Again, making sure that that hair is all coming through. Um, I actually don't go north, south, east, west because it's just more comfortable for me to go from this side and from the back. So I just kind of go back and forth between those, or sometimes I'll even just go in like at a diagonal. As long as you're not doing the exact same, putting the latch hook through the exact same spot twice in a row, you should be pretty good. Um, so still making sure that hair is staying right with the lock as I tighten this all up. I'm going from diagonally from the other side. Pull that all through. So now I tighten that all up and you can see this hair that was loose and sticking out over here is now sticking out the side of my lock. And there is also other hairs all kind of sticking out the side here too. So I'm going to kind of gather them together. So I bought this tool from a fabric store. I believe it's called a seam ripper or something like that. Um, and none of the rest of this is important. The only thing that I needed was basically a much smaller version of my latch hook. If, if you can see that. I'll try and get a close up. You can see it's a much smaller version of my latch hook. It would be nice if this tip here, can you see the tip, was a little pointier and sharper, that would be helpful. But it worked pretty well and it solved a lot of our problem. So I'll show you what I did with it. Okay, so back to the lock with our extra hair sticking out. And what you need to do, and, and it's not the easiest thing, but I take the, the very tip of this um, hook and I stick it through just above where the hair is coming out. I stick it through the lock and then I take the hair and get it caught right in the hook and I pull it through. And then I keep doing that and working my way up the lock. I go up a little bit further the next time. And basically what I'm doing is I'm weaving that hair in and around and back through the lock all into the lock. And this is actually working pretty well. Sometimes I have a really hard time getting the hook into the lock because the lock is so dense. Um, the hair is just so so thick in the lock that I have a hard time getting the hook to to get in there, but it's actually this particular lock 
is cooperating quite well. And now we've caught up to some of this other hair that was just kind of hanging out of the sides of the lock. So I'm going to incorporate as much of it into this, into the hook as I can. As much of it in there as I can, if you can see how much I snagged in there and pull it through. And I just keep doing that all the way up as far as I can through the lock. And so it's now you can see how far up the lock we are. We started with this hair hanging out the side and now we've weaved it all the way through here. And um, that was an incredibly extensive project when I did it on her entire head. Um, but with great results. I did that four months or so ago and now we don't really have so much of a problem with it. And what was going on before that was we had a bunch of locks and just tons of loose hair all over her head and it was getting very messy and very tangly and when I would go to tighten her locks I'd have so much loose hair around the locks that would all get tangled together that it took me forever just to separate through the hair like I showed you um, at the beginning of the tightening process so it was taking us hours and hours and hours just to tighten and then all the hair would just kind of slip right back out afterwards so weaving it all back up into the lock has made a huge difference and once you do it once you shouldn't have to do it on the whole head again if you even have this problem not everybody will um, you shouldn't have to do the whole head again you might just need to do one here or there um, some areas of the head that tend to be a little more difficult are right around the hairline you have a lot um, shorter little hairs that grow in around the hairline and so those might be places that you'll need to weave hair back in um, and and continuing around the hairline down around the ears you can see we did we tighten these ones um, almost two weeks ago now and all of this hair kind of came back out and I think that's kind of natural around the ears that's gonna happen um, but you can try to weave it in there and it's probably not gonna stay but you can if you want so that is um, how to use a latch hook to tighten locks.